This one's a quick one. It's about Sega Saturn. I, I don't know what happened with Sega Saturn. We're not going to talk about, well, I'm not going to talk about because you're not here, about the uh, problems that I encounter today with Sega Saturn uh, instead of what happened 20 years ago. You see, um, the fat PlayStation 3 plays PS1 games and PS2 games and PS3 games. And with the exception of a handful, I do mean a handful of PS1 and PS2 games, I have not encountered uh, too much uh, playback problems uh, with PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games. So that leaves the, the Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast scenario. Now, not, let, let's just say um, the main reason I bought a Sega Saturn was so I could play Capcom games imported from Japan and SNK games. Fighters Fighters are very big and it's fighters are like anime. They're talked about a lot, but there's not really much of a follow through there. I know this from working in an arcade. The arcade owners absolutely refused to get Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter vs. Tekken in the arcade, which were huge at that particular time. They, they refused it. Uh, so, you know, there, and the Neo Geo Battle Coliseum, that was another one I requested. Um, oh, and Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. So what does that have to do with Saturn and whatever? And you notice what I mentioned about the PS3. Now, having a Sega Saturn first, because I had, I, I had a Saturn... And until it wiped out my saves, I had saves going all the way back. The original battery in, in my Saturn lasted well over 10 years. So I had saves going all the way back to uh, 1995. But um, there's, you know, like uh, Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter Alpha 2. I'm not going to go in which version is better or whatever. Um, Street Fighter Zero Three, 3, which was an import. Well, I have all that rebought from the Sony store, or I have the, I bought PlayStation versions used whenever I ran into them at thrift stores, used game stores, uh, when Game Crazy and GameStop wanted to liquidate older inventory. You know, I go in there, oh, look at that. That's how I got Street Fighter Alpha 2. They were just, they, they didn't care that it was selling for X amount or whatever. Now, obviously some more highly sought after titles, Marvel Super Heroes, X-Men Children of the Atom. Some Japanese titles or whatever, which would require me to import a fat Japanese PS3 to play. Because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any of the, this modding crap. I would like to get a Japanese one, and then figure out how to use. Well, I think I don't. Correct me if I'm wrong. Doesn't the Japanese one also use PayPal? So I can just use PayPal to pay. Um, not right at this minute. PayPal and Sony on my account are both angry at me <laughs> because of a little little glitch in the system. Sony still owes me something for $10. But um, um, overall, though, um, overall, I'd go buy the PlayStation versions of a game. And I can play it on my PS3 HDMI up converted. I don't have to go through these tricks. Um, good props to Yakumo for finding a cheaper, better way to do HDMI through a Dreamcast. I give him big credit for that and at RetroCore. But uh, I want less on my TV, not more. So having a fat PS3, which I paid next to nothing for. Um, actually, I don't. I don't even know if I did pay anything for it. But having a fat PS3 to me is the way to go here because I can I can play these, record them at 1080p for you, the audience, and then I can go ahead and take that footage. And um, still use it in uh, if if I have the time to do it, I can still use it in uh, HDMI. This is why I wish Nintendo kept GameCube compatibility all the way through the Wii U, so I could have done the same thing. I do have a way to play GameCube games in HDMI. It's the video mode on why a GameCube is not on Wii U. Th that, that's the honest truth. Um, even progressive. GameCube games have, have problems. So I wish I'd never bought a Sega Saturn. For all the good times and everything, I just wish I went ahead, had my PlayStation mod chipped, and just went ahead and imported 
Or, you know, knowing me, I just would have bought a Japanese PlayStation. And I would have had a Japanese PlayStation and an American PlayStation. And I would have just imported those games back then. I wish I had done that. That's what I'm telling you folks now. I wish I never had bought a Sega Saturn. And that's hard for me to say because in this order, these are my favorite uh, game systems of all time. I mean, just this is what I really had the most fun playing. It's uh, my Sega Genesis, but that includes all the add-ons, 32X Sega CD, all that stuff. So my Sega Genesis 32X CD. Or we're just going to say Genesis CDX with 32X. And then the other game system I enjoyed the hell out of was my Sega Saturn. Uh, with all my import stuff, with my Game Shark, with my extra memory card, with uh, eventually I bought a, a foreign one thing, uh, you know, so forth and so on. I really enjoyed that. And the last game system I really, really enjoyed uh, was the Dreamcast. Uh, if you want a fourth place, it would be 3DO. After that, it, it's been kind of weird. Um, Cult Life. Got to work. Got to work to make money. Um, I don't know how, when I was younger, I was able to play all these games. And so, forth and so, on. so, now I'm in a scramble to buy games I already own on the Sega Saturn, on the PlayStation, the original PlayStation, and games I own on both play, um, Saturn or Dreamcast on the PS2. And sometimes it's weird. Like, I, I know that there's frames of animation missing. Let's take Street Fighter Alpha 1, 2, 3, for instance, and Pocket Fighter. But I'd rather have the original PlayStation versions of these than the newer versions. Um, Arcade's Greatest Hits. There's Arcade's Greatest Hits, Arcade's Greatest Hits, the Atari Collection, Arcade's Greatest Hits, the Midway Collection 2, and Arcade's Greatest Hits, the Atari Collection 2, and then Arcade Fun Pack. That's the original ones by Midway. I would rather have those than something more modern. It's, it's the truth. There's something about those than something modern. There's some kind of charm or whatever. And it's weird because usually, though, um, sometimes a Saturn game, well, most of the time, a Saturn game would be better than the PlayStation game in respect to these 2D or classic games. And this is true to a large degree. But there's something about the presentation on the PlayStation version sometimes that's just, it beats out the Saturn version. So, that's, that's just, a, it's a minor quibble, like um, Samurai Showdown 3, for instance. It's a piece of crap on, on PlayStation. It really is. And yet... I like it. I like it a lot. But, and it goes same. Um, now, by the way, you, if you want to know what was one of the incompatible games I encountered on the PS3 from the PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2, it was actually FIFA 98. <laughs> um, I think the disc is dirty. That, that's honestly what I think. So. All right. Well, anyways, you got questions, comments, whatever, coffeeforbinky at gmail.com. Uh, coffee for Binky on Patreon if you want to throw me something or whatever here. I'm not bashing the Saturn. I love the Saturn. But for the sake of simplicity in my life, I just have to have the PlayStation versions right now. Bye-bye.